everybody. We're at a new renovation, which I'm excited to be done with my house so that I can run out of other people's houses. We've got Chris Lomergittens from LG Squared Architecture. We've got Matt Hoots, who's the builder on this project. We're in Atlanta's Midtown neighborhood. Anything special about this house? Yeah, 1920s. Um, it's very, yeah, it's like a lot of the other houses in the neighborhood and it's uh, beautiful. It is very pretty, uh, but it also has a lot of the performance stuff that you will notice. And let me just show you real quick. So first of all, when you're doing a, a test in on blower door, you wanna make sure that you're doing like apples to apples. So be honest about the house. These windows cannot be locked because this has been painted shut. So that's all we're gonna do with that is just close them. In general, we're gonna keep all the doors open, right? So it's one big room. But we also want to make sure that we're understanding how the enclosure actually works. This room is clearly supposed to be an inside space. So we're going to open that door. We also have side attics like this. Nobody knows what's going on in there until you run a zonal pressure test. And if you find out that this space is kind of connected to the house and kind of connected to that side, then you open the door, which is what we're going to do because we're going to actually, at the end of the renovation, do another test to make sure that we understand how the enclosure is working then, and that is gonna be insulated all at the perimeter of the enclosure. Right there, winterized. What that means is that there's no water in this house. So there will be sewer gases coming up from that drain, from potentially from that drain, definitely from that drain, and all the other drains in the house. We're gonna keep this quick because I don't wanna make us all sick from sewer gases. Okay, so we also do have two fireplaces in here and one ventless. The flue on that was wide open, and of course you do want to close that, and also because it's got a bunch of ashes in it. So, would have cleaned that up, but frankly, uh, as suspected, it's not the path of least resistance for the air that we're trying to suck out of here. Did the test in depressurization mode, 17,000 CFM. I would need three blower doors that size to be able to actually hit 50 pascals. I don't own three blower doors anymore. So, um, so now we just ran it to 10, and we found that of course, ran down to five as well, half pressure. If you don't know why I do that, read the book, Home Performance Diagnostics. Right now, I'm gonna run this up to 50. We got our trash truck outside for the extra, extra touch. Okay, there's our number. Very interestingly, interestingly, we got to a much higher pressure in pressurization mode than we did in depressurization mode. That normally does not happen. It's the opposite in most houses. So it might have something to do with the vintage of this place. But we had 11,000 something of in uh, CFM50 in pressurization mode. We got to 17. Actual flow without estimating what it would be at 50, 6,200. That means that it should be, if I drop it down to eight and a half, should be about uh, 4,500. So let's do that right now. Okay, so it's in the neighborhood. 4,280. Okay, good. Now we've completed our two point test. That means we can plot a curve if we ever wanted to know what it would be at a different pressure. These are the little things that you wanna always check for. Also, we tested our hoses before we did this test to make sure that we actually were doing something that was a real scientific test that wasn't just sloppy work. Okay, so leakiest house I've ever tested, which is a big one, because we did the 1650 Dutch house in New York City, and that was 13,000, which was big. Uh, so Matt Hoots, you can find your YouTube, you have a YouTube channel, right? Yep. What is it? Yeah, Sawhorse uh, Atlanta. Sawhorse Atlanta. LG Squared, you can find their YouTube channel as well. LG Thank Squared. you. Thank you for bringing me into this. You guys stay tuned, because we're gonna do more uh, about the series on this, because we're gonna come back at when it's gutted, pre-drywall, we're gonna do uh, another test. We're gonna do inspections and stuff like that. It's gonna be very cool. You're gonna be able to see the rock wool go in. You're gonna be able to see the April layer ventilation systems go in. Um, and it's gonna end up being like, this is a, an extreme before and after. So do stay tuned. I'm gonna start a playlist on this uh, series. So I will talk to you guys soon. Make sure that you comment below and uh, tune in next time.